In this video, I'll show you how to get automatic reminders via SMS from Google Calendar. So every time you create a new event into your Google Calendar, now you can receive the reminders of all those events via SMS on your phone one day before the event that too automatically. Yes, it is possible. In this way, you do not have to keep on checking your Google Calendar again and again that what events you have scheduled into your Google Calendar because every time the event is created, the reminder will automatically arrived on your phone and for receiving the sms i am going to use this twilio application want to set this automation for yourself come with me and i will show you the whole process step by step to automate this process i'll have to integrate my google calendar and this twilio sms application and i'm going to do that with pabli connect it is an amazing integration and automation software and i'm already an existing user so that is why i am already logged in you can also create your free account in just two minutes from the sign up free button okay and in this free account you will also get free tasks to test this automation okay once you will reach to the dashboard click on this blue button that is create workflow and provide any any random name to your workflow to your automation okay so i have pasted the name something like one event is created in calendar get reminder one day before automatically okay simply click on create and then you will find two boxes so these are actually trigger and action let me show you all right trigger and action so here to trigger means when this happens action means do this okay whenever this happens then automatically do this okay understand with an example also let's say whenever a sale happen in a payment gateway application then automatically send an email via gmail application okay according to our use case whenever any event is added any event is created into the google calendar application okay so that is why i have selected this application first then automatically get and reminder via Twilio application okay so here for receiving the SMS I'm going to use this Twilio application in place of this SMS application if you want to use other application you can also do the same you can also search for your SMS based application okay so the idea here is I'm going to connect to Google Calendar with the Pabli Connect so that whenever any new event is created okay you can even read the instructions triggers when the new event is created okay whenever any event is created into my google calendar the details will be captured via pabli connect okay and you will have to provide the access of your google calendar account okay i will go with the existing connections because here you can see i have made several connections earlier okay so clicking on save and this is how my google calendar application will be connected with the pabli connect okay and if you are building this connection for the first time you will have to connect this application by signing in okay you can not use the uh, existing connection all right here you can see whatever the calendars available inside my google calendar have started visible here since we are connected okay so i i am going to create a new event inside this pabli connect calendar okay so how about i schedule an event for this 24th of march and assume that i have a meeting with mr roy okay so let me change it as month okay okay so let me schedule an event for this 24th of march and uh, assume that i have a meeting with the mr roy okay so i will be adding the meeting name as mr roy basically the event name okay and the meeting is actually on the friday 24th march and here i will also add the start time okay so let's say i have the meeting at around uh, 2 15 pm okay so i have also defined the timing 2 15 to 3 15 okay and just in case if you also want to add the description you can also do the same okay we need to discuss the partnership with pabli connect okay i'm adding any random description here let me also correct the spelling of this partnership all right i think i have added all the important or necessary details which are actually required for creating an event okay clicking on save and then i'll come back to pabli connect all right i will be clicking on this i will be selecting this pabli connect calendar and then i will click on this save and send test request button and here you can see whatever the recent event i have created inside this calendar the details 
of the same has been captured has been received as a response okay let me show you the details one by one here we have the updated date okay so today is actually 22nd march and it is showing the updated date we have the summary as well that is meeting with mr roy it is the same detail okay we have the status as confirmed we even have the start date that is 24th of march and here we have the timing as the 2 15 all right okay let me show you other details okay so we have other details as the end time and we even have the description we have the creator email and this is how we have other important details okay so the presence of this data clearly shows that the connection in between my google calendar and pably connect is working absolutely fine okay so now onwards what will happen every time a new event is created into my google calendar the details will be captured via pably connect but this trigger will check for the new data in every 10 minutes okay so just in case you are not getting the reminders in real time or immediately just wait for at least 10 minutes patiently because the trigger of this google calendar is actually a polling based which will capture the response in every 10 minutes okay don't bother if the data is not arriving immediately okay moving further now i want that a reminder should be received automatically one day before the event okay so i have that event on which particular date basically on 24th date so firstly i'll have to fetch the date of one day before the event okay which is going to be 23rd march okay so how i am going to fetch this date of one day before okay so simply click on this plus icon and here i will add a new step as the date and time formatter feature okay with the help of this feature well it is an amazing feature of pably connect via which you can perform various kind of operations within your date and time with date and time okay so i want to subtract one day in this current date in this event date so that is why i have selected this action event okay and firstly it is asking to enter the date okay so basically the date which you would like to format okay so i would like to format this start date okay uh, which is actually of the 24th march and don't worry i don't need to manually copy this date and paste it here i am going to map this date okay so simply click on this particular field and you will find the above data here in the drop down okay select your start date time here and uh, so this is called mapping inside pably connect and whatever the details you are going to map here will be replaced automatically when this automation will work in real time in next time here it is asking for the expression okay so you can read the instructions you can add the expression of months days hours okay since i want to i wanted to add i wanted to subtract one day so that is why i have added this specific expression okay asking for the to format and the from format okay so i have the from format in this y y y y m m d d t h h m m s s z it okay so let me search for this form format that is y y y y okay so here I have this YYYYMMDDTHHMMSS. Okay, I have provided the from format. And in this to format, I will be searching for this YYYYMMDDHHMMSS, the simple format. Okay, why I am specifically taking, specifically looking for the simple format that is YYMMDDHHMMSS. I will uh, let you know this later. Okay, for now, you will have to go with this particular format only. Okay, click on save and send test request and this is how you will get the date of one day advance i'm sorry for that one day before the events date that is the 23rd of march okay now in my automation i will define something like that this automation should wait until this particular date okay basically after the event creation date okay as soon as the event is created it should wait for this particular date until this date is not arrived it should not send the sms it should not send the reminder okay so how i am going to delay this automation until this particular date well pably connect offers an amazing feature of delay via which you can delay your automations delay your workflows okay until a specific date okay so let me show you how we are going to do that okay so here we have the delay for and delay until in this case i want to delay my automation until a specific date and here i will be adding the date of this one day before okay let me show you this 23rd march okay and remember i have told you that i am specifically taking this particular format 
format because delay ask for this particular format only here you can see it is asking me to provide the date in yymmdd hhmmss okay so that is why here only i have specified this particular format otherwise i'll have to perform one more step in order to change the format of this date okay so let me map the date here okay so here from this particular step i am going to map the date of one day before i'll be clicking on this button save and send test request and this is how uh, this automation has been delayed until this specific date and time okay once this particular date and time will arrive what should be the next step basically it should send the reminder automatically on the sms on my sms on my phone number okay so for sending and receiving the sms i am going to use twilio application okay again let me search for this twilio all right and in the action event since i want to receive an sms since i want to send an sms so i have selected the same and just like we have connected google calendar with public connect now i am going to connect twilio with public connect and for the connection it is asking for the s id for the token and again for the sid okay so simply click on this hyperlink and once you will reach to this particular page it will firstly going to ask you the uh, verification code here you can see it is asking for the verification code all right so i have fetched my verification code and provided the same and this is how the verification process will be done and then it will take me to the authorize to the page where i will get the uh, authorization token and the sid all right so from the left hand side you'll have to open this api keys and tokens okay and from here exactly i will be copying all my important details that is the sid okay let me copy the same and paste it at both the places and lastly it is asking for the authorization uh, key okay so click on this i button and copy the token from here and paste the same click on save and this is how twilio application will be connected with pabli connect okay i'll have to check what is wrong with this all right so i have reconnected my twilio account and provide the access once again and this is how uh, now you will see my twilio account will be connected with public connect okay now here the very first field i have is the body of the sms okay so from here exactly we can actually customize our message that what message we would like to receive okay so i have composed a very small message an sms already okay so let me show you hello sonam you have an appointment or an event scheduled with okay here i will be adding the name or maybe i will be adding the description or the summary okay so how i can add it as i have told you earlier that we can do this process with the help of mapping okay so i am going to open this google calendar data and here i will be mapping this summary okay you have an appointment uh, or event scheduled with with a uh, meeting with mr roy okay on date okay so here i will be adding the date of the appointment okay so where is the date let me search for the same here i have the start date okay and lastly i am going to share all the event details that is what is the event or appoint name appointment name what is the description and lastly i will add this thanks okay so what is my event name okay so i have the event name as this meeting with mr roy only and the description i have is something like uh, it is all about the partnership i remember all right so here i have the description that we need to discuss the partnership with the public connect okay in this my in my sms i have only included two to three important details but just in case if you want to include more details you can also do the same okay so this is how uh, whatever the details i have provided manually will, will remain same but whatever the details i have mapped here will replace automatically when this automation will work in next time or in real time okay asking for the sender name and the recipient name okay in this particular case i would like to receive all the sms on my phone number only okay so here i will be adding my number only following these instruction following this particular format okay so let me replace this number currently with a genuine or with a dummy number okay but don't worry i will replace this number with my genuine number when i'll click on this button finally okay asking for the sender number so i am going to use this uh, number provided by twilio only here you can see i am currently into the trial period okay and i am using this number only and this is provided by twilio okay i'll be clicking on this button but before that let me first replace this number with my genuine phone number 
all right so i have provided my journey number clicking on this button save and send test request and waiting for that message to be arrived okay so here it is showing that the response is received and i hope you have heard the notification on my phone let me uh, add the screenshot of that sms which i have received on my phone as a reminder of this particular google calendar event and here you can see this is the SMS I have received. This is the reminder I have received on my phone number automatically via SMS. Okay, so this is how now onwards you can also receive such kind of reminders on your phone number automatically. You do not have to remember the date and time of your events. You do not have to keep on checking your Google Calendar again and again because once you will mark an event here, you will create an event here after. After that if you have created this automation inside Pabli connect after that every time the event date will arrive it will automatically send the reminder to you one day before the event automatically okay uh, you do not have to do anything manually okay and just in case if you want to access this automation inside your Pabli connect account I will also attach the shareable link of my workflow into the description box okay you just need to click on that link and sign up into the Pabli connect and you will be able to access this workflow inside your Pabli Connect account that too for free and once you have set this automation inside Pabli Connect you can simply close Pabli Connect sit back and relax because Pabli Connect will take care of all the tasks in the back end not just these applications you can integrate multiple applications and automate your business with Pabli Connect you can ask your queries at forum.pabli.com my team will surely answer to your questions. This is the website of Pabli Connect and for the latest updates of Pabli Connect and unique automation ideas, you can join our Facebook group that is formget.deals. If you have found this video helpful in any way, share it with your friends and colleagues and also help them to automate their business. Like, share and subscribe. Thank you for watching this video.